welcome back to multi magic channel so in this video we are going to learn about how to set up twilio account and how to configure twilio in moon stack and how to send sms using that moon stack using twilio okay so i'll attach a small video on how to set up uh, this twilio account in the github repo itself which i'm going to uh, provide in the description so skipping that apart so basically this is the dashboard what you will get initially after you set up your Twilio account and uh, yep uh, this is a initial number like this is a free Twilio number what you will what you will get okay so yep uh, instead of any delays let us walk through the code yep so this is a Twilio application using Merge stack so in the server what we have is we have the server side code and in source we have this uh, client side code okay uh, so basically in index.js uh, like if you have been watching our previous tutorials you must have known this uh, what is this index.js I'll quickly wrap it up so basically uh, in if you run any react application the initial file like kind of if you run any C program uh, the initial execution starts from main right so in in case of react it starts with this index.js okay so in index.js what we are doing is we are rendering this app component which is this so basically this is the view what you are going to see initially when you open the screen okay so basically in app.js I am doing nothing uh, I just have a div which is of with class name app and inside that I am rendering another component that is our main component okay where we have written all the uh, SMS sending logic and all so let us go through this SMS SMS form.js initially we are importing the libraries and the components and the CSS files whatever necessary for this SMS form.js okay we are actually using this reacts set state method to manage the state of our form so that initially we set up the state to hold the recipient and message body fields along with the flags for submission and error status too okay to handle the input changes we defined this on handle change method so basically this method is triggered whenever there is a change in the input fields and also it dynamically updates the corresponding state property based on the inputs attribute okay which is name these are attribute so before going to this on submit event i mean on submit function let us go through this render okay so our render method is returning basically is returning a simple form which has this uh, input field and the text area field so in input field we are uh, we want to provide the recipient phone number phone number and in text area we want to send the message i mean we want to give the body of the message uh, which you wanted to send to the recipient's phone number right so and also we have a basic button which is of type submit and once you click that uh, it will call this on submit function okay in on submit function what it does is when the form is submitted we actually prevent the default form submission behavior and also we are setting the state of submitting is equal to true okay so then what we are doing is we are making a post request to our server with the message data whatever you have entered in the form to that recipient number okay so depending on the responses we update the state of uh, state to reflect success or failure clean okay so now let us go to the server code index.js we basically imported the necessary modules uh, we used express for creating the server body parser for passing request bodies and pino for logging and also we imported this Twilio client for sending sms okay and if you observe this process dot env dot willy account sid and auth token if you can see here right this dot env file you wanted to enter these details uh, the values of twilio account sid and twilio auth token in that file so that it will remain hidden 
okay so after that we configured express to use this body parser and we used this pino for logging okay and this route actually handles a get request for this api okay uh, basically i wrote this api to just uh, check whether i am able to communicate this uh, uh, whether i am able to communicate with react client or not uh, this is my kind of this uh, hello world message okay after that this route actually handles a post request to this api okay what it does is it actually expects a json body with two and body fields representing the recipient phone numbers and the message body respectively okay it then uses the twilio client to send an sms message and response with a success or failure message accordingly okay so actually we are creating a message using this uh, our twilio phone number and uh, the recipient phone number and the body which we actually uh, these values have been sent from the react client right so we are using these three details and we are creating a message after that we are sending that finally we start the express server which is listening on port 3001 let us quickly go to the demo of this application uh, so that you can understand uh, how this functionality is working okay so if i already ran it using uh, npm run dev okay so what you can do is you can just uh, clone this repository and uh, inside this mount twilio app folder what you need to do is you need to uh, run this command npm run dev okay so yep uh, what i am doing is i'll write the uh, recipient phone number and i am just adding a message hello okay if i click on this send message i got a message hello world uh, from this twilio trail account okay so yep uh, that's all for this video i hope uh, you guys enjoyed it uh, see you back again with another video thank you so much